demonstrating these basic exercises is 18 year old Luke Jones of Guernsey. Uh, Luke is uh, England under 18 uh, rugby player. The exercise is going to demonstrate is the two hand curl. The curl is an exercise for the bicep muscle. It's one of the few exercises where you have your palms pointing forward. The grip is just slightly outside your hips. Starting position is first of all to roll your shoulders back and get your chest out which locks your back in. He's just done that. It's important to keep your body totally still as you're doing this exercise so it's your biceps that are lifting the bar, uh, not your back. Next exercise is bend forward rowing. This is an exercise in the main for your upper back muscles. The starting position is relatively wide grip outside your hips to lift your shoulders, rotate them back and get your chest out, which actually locks in the back. From here, you lean forward, keeping your back flat, head up, and you're pulling the bar up to the top of the chest. Controlled movement, keeping your body reasonably still. It's your upper back muscles in the main doing the work. We now move on to upright rowing, which is an exercise for the muscles of the shoulder girdle. Uh, the exercise grip is fairly close. Uh, starting position is you have to rotate your shoulders back, get your chest out, which locks in the back, and then you're going to be stretching up, pulling your elbows high, uh, pulling the bar up towards your chin. Body stays quite still and the emphasis is pulling the elbows high. Excellent exercise for the muscles of the shoulder girdle. We now move on to the back squat, which is one of the most important exercises uh, to do with weight training. The back squat works the, the muscles of the quadriceps, the, that's the front of the thigh. It also works the, the, the back muscles and the gluteus maximum muscles. It is, in, from, for most sports, it's an essential exercise for sports people to do. The starting position is the bar on the shoulders, and the stress is actually on the shoulders. It doesn't go onto the neck itself. Feet are comfortably apart, toes pointing slightly outwards, head up. And from here, squatting down, there's no need to go down any lower than you see on the video at the moment, keeping your head up all the time and in control. Looking at the exercise from the side, when you're doing squats you need to be doing them in an upright position. For some people, certainly the first few times they do squats, they may need to have uh, something underneath their heels. It could be a plank of wood, it could be a couple of weights. But what you shouldn't be doing on front squats is coming up on your toes, which is quite dangerous. So we're looking at the side position now of Luke Jones. We see his body is quite upright. He's not leaning forward in any sense at all. If you lean forward when you're doing squats, you can lose your balance. An alternative to the back squat is the front squat, uh, where the bar, instead of being on the back of the shoulders, is held in the front of the shoulders. F for a lot of people, this is much more difficult than doing back squats. Um, but you need to have the bar resting on the front of the deltoid muscles, the muscles at the, on each sort of shoulder. Elbows need to be high in order to keep the bar on there, so the bar is resting physically on your body uh, and not just on your wrists. A front squat throws far more stress onto the front of the quadriceps and less on the back muscles. It's a good alternative to the back squat, but a more uh, challenging exercise to do properly. Front squat, look at it from the side, you emphasize the very upright stance.
Moving on to the most important exercise to do with weight training, and that's the power clean. The power clean is where you take the bar from the floor up to your shoulders. It is a fast, explosive movement and an essential exercise for virtually every sport. Shoulders back, locking your back in, shoulders kept well in front of the bar, reaching fast and dropping in to receive the bar at the top of the chest. Fast, explosive, athletic movement. Moving on to the bench press. The bench press, by some measure, is the most popular exercise uh, regarding weight training. It's not necessarily the best exercise. The power clean and the back squats are far superior in terms of people using weights to improve at their individual sports. But the bench press is an exercise which develops the muscles at the front of the chest, the pectoral muscles, also the triceps at the back of the upper arm and the front of the deltoid muscles. Bench press, you normally have two people handing the bar in for safety reason. Here, Luke is actually using um, a piece of apparatus called a Smith machine, which helps him. Take the bar off at arm's length and down to the chest and smoothly up. And then we do it from the side. Notice the bar comes down to the same part of the chest each time in smooth, controlled movements. The weight training movements we've shown in a short video are essentially the bread and butter exercises that all people starting weight training use. Weight training as an activity is very safe providing it is taught correctly from the outset. If you're doing back squats or front squats or bench press it's important to have spotters checking out the bar when you're using heavy weights.